Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Instructions for Forensic Science class for the week of November 9th. Today is November 9th, it's Hurricane Etta Day because today is the day that they canceled school for this apocalyptic storm we have going on outside. Um, just kidding, they, the school board did a good job. They should have they should have canceled the day because according to everything that they saw, today was going to be a pretty rough day and it was going to be dangerous for the buses. So um, good job of Chippewa County School Board, they made the right choice. Uh, before I tell you how this week goes, I wanted to remind you of, of, of a few class announcements. The first one I want to tell you about is that you only have until November 18th, that's next Wednesday, to complete any work from the first quarter. Uh, if your grade is low, let me work with you on the first quarter grade. You still have some time. Um, a lot of you guys missed some fairly major things and we're still, Mr. Van Camp agreed to let us let you make up stuff from the first quarter until November 18th. But if you don't have anything done by November 18th, we've done everything we can for you. And uh, take a look at your grade. Look at it. See if there's a, a low grade or a, a grade you didn't complete, you got a zero on, and let me know. We'll talk about making it up. Maybe it'll bring your grade up. You really need it, okay? Now to help you with this, or the current nine weeks, we're in the second nine weeks right now, to help you with the first nine weeks or the second nine weeks, Okeechobee Virtual School is offering after school tutorial. For us, after school is kind of, you know, whenever, but it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 to 3.30 at the Achievement Academy in town. You don't need to sign up, you just need to show up. You are going to have to range for your own transportation, but for an hour and a half on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we've got a couple of teachers there that are willing to help you out. If you are having trouble with specific things or in general things like you, you just don't understand why your grades low you can go talk to them and see if they can uh, clear it up um, they're good at uh, just about every su subject so go up there and and see if they can give you a hand I have seen tutorial work very well I've seen it make a huge improvement in students if you'll go up there now one thing that you guys should take more advantage of is I'm in my zoom room every day here's the link okay well the whole thing is the link but that's that's the actual link you can click this button and it'll put you right into my zoom room from 9 to 11 every day Monday through Friday um, and if you need help with something I'm there if you want to ask a question I'm there uh, and unless you want to do it as a group like if you want me to put together a group of students for something I've had this happen um, then most of the time it's just one-on-one -on -one. you can meet with me privately and nobody else is in the room and I understand that with a lot of students that's a big deal so you can contact me uh, through zoom and we can talk and you don't even have to turn your camera on uh, I'll probably turn mine off too after a while because first of all I'm not that great to look at and second of all um, it takes up bandwidth so it's easier to just have the cameras off but we can I can share my screen with you I can uh, help you figure out what's going on we can talk about um, struggles you may be having all right and this is something I'm really excited about I'm so excited I'm gonna highlight it I'm gonna change the color on it I'm gonna turn it a happy kind of pinkish purple color I'm visiting next week with a CSI team from the Okeechobee County Sheriff's Department I'm gonna go there with my um, my camera my camcorder and uh, I'm gonna uh, interview the two techs that we have working for us they're very nice young ladies um, they're gonna show me around their lab and then I have the opportunity to ask them some questions but I wanted you to have the opportunity to ask them some questions so um, think of a question that you might have for a CSI tech and um, now's your shot now I'm not saying this is the only time I'm gonna go I hope they let me come back for other visits but this could be depending on the sheriff but I would like to see you guys uh, send me some questions that I can ask the uh, the team there and um, that'll be in a video coming up before Christmas so how cool is that if you if I use your question with them on camera I'm gonna give you some extra credit how about that huh so shoot me some questions that I can talk to them with all right let's move along to this week um, today is November 9th and it's hurricane Etta day now the bad news about this is that sadly we're gonna to have to make this day up the week of Thanksgiving now I don't know exactly how that's gonna look for virtual school but I do know that um, uh, we do have a day to make up so please make sure that you are prepared for that I want you to know that tomorrow uh, this video that I'm making right now is going to be linked right here and tomorrow I want you to take the unit test on biological evidence I told you last week that this was a big test coming up please as I tell you all the time please 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 make sure that you have your um, your notebook 
all done up, ready to go, have your notebook out and ready to go, so have studied your notebook for this test because this is a big test that needs to be completed. <coughs> so take the time to get everything ready before you take this test, okay? Uh, on Wednesday, we start a whole new tutorial. This, I, I just got through making the guided notes and the video for this tutorial, and this it's, it's kind of short, but it's really cool because we talk about all the ways that we can tell the time and the cause of death of a, of a body at a crime scene and um, it talks about some really interesting things and so in fact I've included of course here's the guided notes make sure you have them pulled up and printed out before you start the tutorial um, watch the video as you go through the tutorial or however you want to do it I've included quite a few videos here uh, there's a video explaining the stages of death quit that just stop sorry I guess I get button shy there's a video here explaining the stages of death uh, it's very well done um, and that's for the rigor mortis and liver mortis, which I talk a lot about in the tutorial. There is uh, another video on forensic entomology, which entomology is a study of bugs, so I'm not gonna tell you, but I want you to let your imagination run wild as to what forensic entomology might be, because I think you're gonna find out it's just as crazy as you think it is. Um, I wanna talk about how an autopsy is performed. That's gonna be the a video here, because we talk about autopsies at the end of this tutorial. I want you to watch that. There's a PowerPoint. Um, it's a little bit, uh, upper end in terms of because it's given to college students but uh, they talk about manner and cause of death and there's some good stuff in there uh, and this is actually a video it's a it's a person narrating a PowerPoint um, coming over here on the side these are the enrichment assignments these are extra but you might want to you do them because uh, I think you'll find them interesting the first is a website that talks about rigor mortis and lividity it goes much deeper into rigor mortis, mortis and lividity. If you found it interesting, you might want to read through that and learn something. Uh, this video here, everybody, the one right here, this one is, yeah, it's got a little bit of graphicness to it because we talk about a body farm. And it's a place in Tennessee where they uh, investigate uh, human bodies as they decompose. And there are some kind of graphic images in there. So if graphic, graphic images bother you, don't watch the video. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. But if you can, if you think you can stand it, it's supremely interesting, um, and it's well done. It's respectful. It's not gory or scary. It's very respectful, and the people that work there have tremendous amount of respect for the bodies. And if you watch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's really important for you to learn how we know things like when do the uh, when does this happen to a dead body, and when does this happen to a dead body. Um, and finally, there is another website that talks about the difference between cause of death and manner of death, and it's a good thing to know. So this is what we're doing this week. Um, next week, we'll start out with the mastery test for biological, I'm sorry, for time and cause of death. And we're sneaking up pretty close to the end here. We've got uh, Thanksgiving coming up, and then after that, we really only have two weeks of school before we take a final exam, and then we get ready for the uh, end of the end of the semester into the nine weeks you don't have much time to get caught up on your grades so please stop dragging your feet okay uh, that's it let me know if there's anything I can do to help you zoom with me email me text me call me whatever I can do you have those contact numbers and get to work thank you